Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my review for The World is Still Beautiful, Episodes 3 and 4. I've currently gotten up to Episode 6, so I'm halfway done with this show, and to be completely honest, I love it. I wish it was in English, that would be great, but the fact that we got this show at all, I am happy about it. I just wish that they would make a Season 2. Come on, I want to see more. Because I don't even know how this show is going to end. But, yeah. I'm assuming it's going to end with the wedding if the wedding doesn't happen before that. Because we still got six episodes. Anyway. Um, they have the welcoming party that's going to be coming up for... To welcome, you know, welcome Nike to the... Uh, to the kingdom, and there's going to be ambassadors there, and he's wanting her to entertain the guests by, you know, summoning the rain. Obviously, this is not supposed to be... Hello? Uh, it's not supposed to be for entertainment purposes. It's supposed to be a sacred ritual thing. <coughs> And I love how she woke up that morning after the whole fire thing and found him in her bed. And he sleeps naked. Oh my god. Now, I figured that was just a one-time thing because, you know, all his clothes had been destroyed in the fire because apparently his bed chambers had got hit by that too. And that's why he was there. But no, it had been a week. So he had to have had new clothes by then. And he even, you know, made the obvious thing that, you know, most couples share the same bed. And I'm like, dude, if you're going to do that, at least give her a head up, heads up about it instead of surprising her like that. Because that earned him a punch to the head. No, what earned him a punch to the head was him making the comment that, did your chest get smaller? <laughs> that earned him the punch to the head. And... <laughs> Yeah, he made a few more comments about that, and she tried to attack him. <laughs> oh, boy. And now she's got, you know, all the lessons and everything that she was going to need to be, you know, queen someday. You know, all the dancing, the la the tail manners, all that stuff. She's got that to do, too. And we find out that the butler, I'm assuming it's a but he's a butler, because as far as I know, he hasn't said anything Otherwise, about that, his name is Neil. And, uh, shoot. Dang it, I just watched these episodes. I'm blanking for a second. Anyway, we find out apparently that he normally has trouble sleeping, so he takes some kind of, I guess, a sleep aid. But lately he hasn't been taking it, because apparently being around her relaxes him. And it turns out as well that he was the one who was bringing the flowers every day. Because it said that it, it makes, you know, makes her happy. I'm like, well, we're getting some character development from him. So, essentially, <laughs> I think it's funny that she went to check on him. And the butler was either already in the room, keep, I guess keeping watch over him or something. Since there's no guards in there. Or he followed her in there because as soon as she's... Uh, make, she walks over to the... She looks at him in the bed. He pops up saying... Uh, essentially something naughty. Claiming that she's there for naughty reasons. And I'm like, good god, man. And the ambassadors end up showing up later. And being very rude to her. And he... And... Livia shows up and defends her, saying, Watch who you're talking to, that's my wife. Not wife yet. Fiancé, most likely. At this point, but I guess so, whatever. And apparently he ended up pulling an all-nighter the night before. So she lets him rest his head on her lap while they're talking. And later, during the party... Uh, I love how their outfits match color-wise. She summons the rain, but only because she thinks it needs that he needs it, essentially. It's supposed to 
not only enrich the country, but anybody who has any issues in their hearts is supposed to try and reach them, essentially. And his, her grandmother had told her, you could tell if it did at a glance, and it works on him. And later on, we get an issue popping up where apparently the, the priests are supposed to approve of any royal weddings. That bad thing for him, the one who gets to make that decision has a grudge against him and doesn't approve of the wedding, essentially. He doesn't approve of the engagement, so he can't, they can't be together, essentially. And they can't use the claim that, oh, she's from a foreign country because apparently there were other, there were other instances in the past of foreign princesses allowing themselves to be being allowed to essentially marry but they have a grudge against him personally and she tries to figure out a way to try you know try and go talk to them maybe get them to listen to her we find out that he the guy in question hates Livius and essentially thinks of him as low class that he essentially shouldn't have been born blah 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 all that stuff about lower class stuff and Nikkei is worried that essentially because of this they can't be together and they have the only thing the way they could do this is to have the rite of illumination which is where she'd have to go into an underground temple of the sun god and try and grab the ring that's in there but apparently many people have died trying to do that and she ends up meeting some orphans and deciding essentially that yeah, she's going to do it even though he doesn't want her to because he wants to protect her, but she doesn't want to feel like a burden by always being protected. She wants to be able to protect him as well. So she decides to take on this rite, and they send her to the temple, and she manages to make it to the temple inside. But when she goes to get the ring, there's no ring in the thing. She opens the box and there's nothing in there. So she realizes that this is a trap and that they had never intended to accept this in the first place. And as she thinks this, the guy's guards show up attempt to attempt to kill her, essentially. So what's going to happen next? You'll have to wait for episodes 5 and 6 to find out. Technically only 5, but 6 is interesting as well. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the show because I'm loving, I'm loving the show. I would love to see more of the show, even if it's only in the dub. I wouldn't end this up. I wouldn't care. That's how much I like it. That I can see past it only being in the sub and love it for what it is. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>